As a result of the recent events in my home country, it's more like giving up hope. I had so much hope, like I was hopeful that, you know, what was happening would bring about change, but somehow... Hello friends, welcome back to the Canada Info Hub channel. My name is Wolo. I live in Winnipeg, Manitoba and I share content about life in Canada and everything Canada. It's a one-stop channel about Canada. Um, I usually smile on my videos but I am not smiling on this video uh, for specific reasons because of the recent events that happened in my home country. I am originally from Nigeria so if this is the first time you are seeing my face or seeing my videos I would say thank you and request that you subscribe to this channel and check my old videos. You might find something useful although I have actually put some of them in private but I I hope to put them back on public so that um, people who need this information can benefit from them. I was testing something which I am still testing and I hope to put those videos back on public by the end of this month. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. So please bear with me. Um, for those who know me, I usually talk about everything Canada and um, two weeks ago, I was actually talking about the things that were happening in my home country and I was really um, kind of afraid about what was going to happen and somehow it also happened. You know, I was anxious that certain things were going to happen and I was trying to be positive about them. I was trying to be positive that those things will not happen. But somehow, somehow, you know, the more you try to project positivity and say, okay, nothing negative is going to happen nothing bad is going to happen somehow something bad happens and you just wonder why it happened and um for those who lost their lives um may their souls rest in peace i know some families may be hurting um they may be weeping they may be crying i know it affected me as well it affected me badly because i still have family members back in nigeria and somehow even with all the things that is going on it's so crazy like you just see these things in the media and they kind of started affecting me and somehow I just had to shut down for a while. As a result of the recent events in my home country, it's more like giving up hope. I had so much hope, like I was hopeful that, you know, what was happening would bring about change. But somehow I was disappointed because of course the people in powers, they never really want anything positive to happen. I usually advocate for people to immigrate to Canada. And that's why I said I would create a video to summarize um, the steps to take if you plan to immigrate to Canada. For those who have been with me from the very beginning, they know that I've shared lots of content on how to immigrate to Canada and life in Canada. And today is going to be more like a summary for those who are just subscribing to this channel. It's going to be a summary of how to move to Canada legally using all the legal options, what you need to start doing first. The documents you need to get what you need to know first so that nobody takes advantage of your vulnerability at this point because i know lots of people will start taking advantage of people and offering them opportunities that does not exist so the purpose of this channel is to let you know the things that exist and the things that do not exist in terms of uh, moving to canada so i will start with the basics first of all um and if you need detailed guidance i usually say talk to a regulated canadian immigration consultant because they have the expertise to guide you when it comes to immigrating to canada and they'll guide you well and guide you successfully so you don't have issues um in your application the first thing you should do is your finances i think i've done a video before where i talked about the money is involved i'll be putting the link in the description box of this video you watch it i did that video in 2019 and that was a video that even went viral on this channel that made me gain so much subscribers so the first thing you should know is the finance involved when it comes to immigrating um via the express entry and or through the provincial nomination i'm not referring to the other options now i'm talking about the express entry the finance involved and what you should do um you should start with evaluating your credentials first of all either using any of the evaluating bodies um like icas west some professions like law 
um if you evaluate a law degree with icas you get a, the equivalency of master's degree so once you've evaluated your credentials with either icas or west or the other bodies um the next thing you should be preparing for is your ielts now the reason why you should start with evaluating your credential is because of the time frame it takes to you know send your transcripts from your school to the evaluating body you are not the one you might send it yourself but most times it is best for the school to send it to the evaluating body and the evaluating body will now contact your school to confirm if your results are okay and if it is okay um you get the evaluated credential that evaluated credential shows the equivalency of your bachelor's degree or your master's degree in canadian standard so you should start with that one first because it takes time for some people it, it can take as much as one year for some people it can take as much as two years some people it can take as much as six months some people it is very short especially people who schooled abroad so start with evaluating your credentials first and when you're doing that you should start preparing for your ielts exams and your tef exams tef or tcf tef is the french version and these days it is very important to get both the ielts and the tef or tcf because it boosts your scores in the express entry pool now you need these two documents i mentioned that's your evaluated credentials and your ielts results scores um, or the tef scores to be able to create an express entry profile once you're able to create an express entry profile you enter what you call the express entry pool and you get a comprehensive ranking score now that score is very important because that is the score that the canadian government usually um, base their draw on and then give people an invitation to apply so another thing you should also do is check in your eligibility which is also very important you can go ahead to evaluate your credentials write the ielts exam but the most important thing is also to check your eligibility to see if you can actually immigrate to canada through the express entry um for some people who are quite matured people who are 40 and above express entry might not be favorable because they might not have the necessary scores except they have a phd degree and they are bilingual in french and um english and they have the highest band scores in both languages that's when they'll be able to like create an express entry profile but those group of people they have to check for provincial nomination options and i've done several videos about um provincial nomination options presently only two provinces are actually giving provincial nominations outside canada and they are ontario and saskatchewan so i've done videos on those ones as well so this is more or less like the summary of what it is like to immigrate to canada and um the purpose for this video is for you to know how to do it yourself and if you need the support of um someone to guide you you have to like consult with a regulated canadian immigration consultant because they have the expertise don't just go buying random ebooks from people who did it themselves because you will not get the detailed information they are writing ebooks based on their own experience whereas your own experience is very different and very unique and it doesn't follow so um for those who are interested please also know that you need to have your finances um ready you need to have your proof of funds ready um it's quite expensive when it comes to putting all these things together to immigrate but if you're determined and if you fall within a certain age bracket like 19 to 29 i've done a video on that as well which you should check out you can immigrate successfully without the need of searching for a provincial nomination but if you are above 30 um the best thing is to start learning french if you don't know french just go ahead and start learning french it will take you like six months to you know get conversant with it and be able to write the french exam and then try as much as possible to get the highest band scores for you to be able to um you know get a good comprehensive ranking score in the express entry pool with which you can be able to get an invitation to apply 
and then you submit a full application and come to Canada. So this is very extensive. I'm just trying to summarize it. I can't talk about everything in one video, but it's just to encourage someone out there. Um, look out for yourself. Look out for your family members. Um, share this video. Anybody who is interested in immigrating and if you need a regulated immigration consultant to help with your application, to help with your options, to know, to help you with the processes, please send me an email. Um, hopefully by the end of this month or the first week of December, what I am actually testing with YouTube, I'll be able to conclude the testing and then release those old videos I had done before where you could see the options. But it doesn't stop you from starting the process. When I mean starting the process, starting the process by checking your eligibility, checking um, if you can actually immigrate, evaluating your credentials, writing the IELTX exam, the general one, not the academic one, and then writing the TEF exams as well. So if this is what you want to do, please try as much as possible and start. I pray that the events that is happening back in my home country um, subside so that people can go back to their normal lives. I know that lots of damages have been done. Um, we can't change that and it's quite discouraging because some of us plan to like come back and invest but when we see these things from the media we are kind of like oh you know what I don't think I want to go back again. Let me just remain here. Let me just Council and then remain here finally instead of me going back to go and face all this stress and all this drama But do we have hope that things will get better? Maybe for me I used to have hope, but I don't think I have that hope anymore and that's I don't know. I, I feel like um, my hope was chattered somehow when I saw that even the president himself made no reference to the thing that happened at the Lekki toll gate where they were shooting innocent protesters. So once you have such leadership, I mean, it discourages you from thinking of going back. If things change, maybe in the next 5, 10, 15 years, maybe we can consider coming back. But if things don't change, I mean, um, we have Canada as our new home and we have Canada as an option. So it is better for you to get that option for yourself, for your family, and for your loved ones. Just think about yourself at this time around. Nobody is thinking about you. The government is not thinking about you. The government does not care about you. So please make that plan. I know Canada cannot admit everybody um, because of so many other factors. Canada cannot admit everybody. But the people who can come, they should try as much as possible to um, start the process. Thank you so much for watching and I'm hoping that in my next video I'll be smiling and laughing. But this period is not a laughing period. It's a period of sober reflection and um, we hope and pray that things get better in our home country. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.